Hello, Harborview. Uh, I thank you very much for watching this. This is just an opportunity uh, before we have back to school night to kind of touch on a topic that uh, I think there has been a, a, a bit of rumor going around and a bit of uh, misunderstanding going around, some misconceptions about some things that we're hoping to do here at Harborview. And it has to do with the issue of homework. So I just wanted to, again, uh, talk a little bit about this, let you know what we're talking about, and you can see it's distinguishing the reality from the rumor. So uh, I'm just going to go over a couple of quick points and then hopefully be able to kind of clear up some of those misconceptions. So just a few simple clarifications. Just note that we're just trying this out for the first trimester. Um, after report cards, we will uh, reevaluate the policy and practices and make any adjustments as necessary. Um, just so this is also clear, there are a lot of schools that are doing this, some in our own district. In fact, uh, Davis Magnet School is has been doing this for uh, a few years. And at uh, Corona Del Mar High School, a lot of the teachers are also experimenting with making homework more purposeful. And so that's kind of what we wanted to do is we're not doing away with homework. The kids will still have homework at Harborview. We're just making it more meaningful. We're making it more purposeful. And we're also kind of taking into consideration a lot of things like student schedule, parent frustration. You know, we, we know that you have your kids are doing a lot and we don't want them to feel that they have to do all their extracurricular activities and, and, and then have to come home and you have to battle them on homework. So, um, our classrooms are very rigorous. Obviously, we, we, we pride ourselves on the education that we provide our students here at Harborview. But we also wanted to know that we want our kiddos to be whole, you know, be well-rounded. And we want them to participate in sports and in music and in extracurricular activities. And so when they're doing these, we wanted to find things that were manageable for you, uh, things that you can handle, and also allow our kids to be kids. So when they leave school, they're getting to enjoy being outside of school and you're getting to enjoy your kids and not having nightly fights over getting homework completed. So um, just again, I'm going to go over the policies, but also know, as always, we have a lot of supplemental programs as well that we're going to be using to help our kiddos who need extra time and support. We're going to be working with our parents, communicating with our parents when those things are necessary, but they're also available for all of our parents who want to extend and, and help their kids be successful. So here is the new homework policy. You can kind of take a peek at it here. But basically what you're going to find is, is that the two major things that we're going to be asking each night of our parents to help us with is to focus on two keys, two spots. Reading, so reading 20 to 30 minutes depending on grade level and your uh, teachers in your grade level will let you in on that, on what exactly, how much time. And then math facts, things like accelerated math or GG flashcards, there's apps on the iPad like Splash Math, practice time tests. Your teachers will be sending home different things. It will look different depending on the grade level, but math facts are those algorithmic things that we know, we all know how to do, and we can help our kids with those. So if you focus on reading and math, you're going to be laying a really strong foundation for us to be able to pick up from there and really then deliver a quality, quality instruction. Also, we are um, having a lot of end of unit projects. A lot of our grade levels are going to be doing that. A lot of the work will be done in class, but we also wanted you to know that um, there's going to be times we're going to need some of that to be done at home. And so we'll be sending home rubrics and the expectations with the understanding that the, the students will be doing it and you'll be assisting only if necessary. Please also note uh, any classwork that doesn't get done, if students are not getting it done, uh, that will be sent home. And so, again, our, prob our process is still teaching those things like time management, accountability, and persistence, but again, also working that into our school day. And then a lot of our grade levels are going to be also helping the kids with study skills, how to prepare for tests and quizzes. So supplemental programs that we have, um, we recommend them, but we're not going to mandate them. But things like Reading Plus, Lexia, Accelerated Reader, Spelling City, ST Math, if it's not being used for math facts, is also a really powerful, powerful tools. We have found that kids who do these do better, but again, we're not going to mandate it. If you have, if your kids are uh, after school schedules are really impacted, don't do them. But um, if we do have kids who are struggling, we will be talking with parents and then saying, these are some things you're going to want to do at home to help shore up some of those weak areas.
So you'll see a lot of the work that's going to be done in class, including wordly wise, grammar. Swan will not come home. Okay, we will be taking care of Swan at Harborview, so you will not have that frustration of figuring out Common Core math, watching videos, and trying to figure it all out. So really happy about that. Our writing assignments, science, social studies, spelling, and vocabulary will also be taken care of in class. So the rigor is still going to be there. We're still preparing our kids. Our, our teachers are doing phenomenal jobs. But we'll take care of these things if you can handle the reading, math facts, uh, the end of unit projects when necessary, any classwork that doesn't get finished, and then helping them study for those quizzes and tests as they come up. So that's what the homework is going to be. That's what we're looking for. Um, just kind of ran a real quick uh, search and found a, a whole slew of different articles. All of these articles are available on our website at harborview.nmusd.us, and you can look through them all. But there has been a lot of research as of late that really has shown that homework, it needs to be purposeful when it's assigned at all. In fact, there is a lot of uh, consensus about the, the benefits of homework, especially at elementary but we're not ignoring the fact that we want to prepare students uh, for middle school and high school and college and beyond. So again, we're just being more purposeful with our homework. We are not doing away with it. It will not be busy work. It will have a purpose behind it and it will be manageable. I think that again, that will be a very, very key thing. Um, if you have a chance, I would love it if you ever saw this. This is a great uh, there's a documentary called The Race to Nowhere, which talks about a lot of the pressures we're putting on students, especially when it comes to schooling. Um, I won't show it here, but I do recommend it. The Race to Nowhere, you can find it on YouTube. Uh, you can actually watch it online. Um, and if I get enough interest from parents who would like to see it, we, they even do hostings. We maybe could even host one at Harborview so people can see it. But the theatrical trailer is fantastic and really does give you kind of a sense of it. So if you have some time, uh, you know, it, it's a two-minute uh, clip here, but uh, just again, wanted to make sure we cleared this up. If you still have questions, please don't hesitate to come ask me. Ask your teachers at Back to School Night. They're really going to kind of clarify this as well, but I wanted to make sure everybody had the message so that they didn't come in and think that Harborview was doing away with homework. Again, we're just trying to make it more purposeful. Thank you so much for sticking to, uh, through this with me. I hope you have a wonderful evening. We look so forward to seeing everyone at Back to School Night uh, tomorrow night. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and we'll talk to you soon. Let's continue to make learning our adventure.